Test, 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 test. What's up guys, it's your boy Gong. Welcome back to another mod review video. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at the um, the, mother, the Modern Poultry Barn by Black Sheep Modding. Uh, it's pretty interesting, but this is also going to be a test. I'm going to be testing out um, certain aspects of it. So basically what this is, this is a, um, a production, a egg production facility. So you have this big place here chickens in there and they produce a lot of eggs um, conveyor belt system it also comes with this trailer that has an auto load mechanism so basically if you go into animal pens you will find it under here and that's the building right there 60,000 to purchase it holds 500 chickens um, initial slot count is going to be 12 slots and to download it from the mod hub it's 13.06 megabytes which includes the trailer as well. Um, another thing you should note for the five th 500 chickens is going to be 30,000 liters of feed. Um, next up, we're looking at the trailer. That's going to be located under tools, under animals. You go all the way over. It's going to be right there. This is also, this is auto loading. This holds 97 boxes of eggs or it says right there, um, 14,550 liters, $12,000 to purchase. And like I said, it has an auto loading mechanism. So let's take a look at the functionality of it. First off, let me go ahead and get myself a tractor over here. As you can see, there's a whole lot of equipment all over the place. I've been testing and testing and testing. So let's go ahead and, um, get the truck, the, the trailer backed up into the shed over here i'm gonna also show you how the shed itself functions and all of that stuff so don't worry about that i'm gonna give you guys you know a fairly detailed um explanation detailed i guess you want to say i talk about or whatever you want to call it of the mod itself so let me go ahead and back this up in here So as you can see, the conveyor belt system is over on that side. So what we're going to try and do is get this place. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to do that. Let me, let me correct that really quickly. Um, we need to get it almost directly in front of that conveyor belt over there. Which that's not going to do it either. Let's try this once more. I guess it won't take one more try. It's going to take a few tries. I had it in there earlier, I swear to you guys. Um, I took it out for a specific reason. Back it up. Go, go, go. Wrong way. All right, that should be good enough. Let's let me take a quick look here. Um, yeah, that should be good enough. So basically, outside of the barn here, you have this switch. On Xbox, you go up to it, you hit B, it closes, and open the gate. When you walk inside the building to the right, you're gonna see a switch that turns the lights on and off. And then from there, you have another. You have the feeding trough over here, which as far as I can see, those buttons, they don't do anything. Um, go up to the door, hit B. This is where the chickens stay, and that's the feeds. As you can see, that thing, the feeding tubes, I guess, which comes from this right here, actually lifts when you go inside, which is actually a pretty cool mechanism. Um, oh, the safety signs are amazing. Then from there, you have... Um, you can start the conveyor belt here 
you can open the blinds here which I find to be amazing you can give the chickens more air or give them a view whichever way you want to you know take a look at it and then finally when you get over here you have this switch that extends the convey and I'm gonna take a look at this here in a bit on a different in the different barn but basically if you walk up to it and you do can I get it to work I think this might be in the way Let's see. after all of that I really have to I still had to move it all right so if you go here and you hit where is it it is not giving me the option It was giving me the option earlier. I'm not sure what's happening now. Let me pull this out of here fully because I want to show you guys exactly what that button does. And what I think, oh, there we go. So I'll move that out of the way. So if you pull up to it, it says raise ramp hit B. It pushes the conveyor belt out. So I'm guessing that can be for a bigger truck or something like that. Effect. I'm not sure. Um, that I'm going to be testing as well. So if you reverse this all the way towards the conveyor belt, you won't have to. Let's see if that's adequate. That should be adequate. All right, so when you come up to the wall here, it's, you see it says operate treadmill. And you can see there's a whole bunch of boxes of eggs on there. I've been at this for about an hour. And I actually, I'm lying, maybe about two hours running the game just straight through to get eggs. I think I probably exceeded it because it kept on saying um, no space or pallets, but basically turn the, the conveyor belt on, it pushes up and it loads into the truck. Mm, and I think I broke it. Yep, I definitely broke it. Um, so yeah, you have to be, you have to position the truck more on it, I guess. Or in a better position, I should say, not more on it, but in a better position. And now those are loading. Okay. That's the basic functionality. Not with how that is, but yeah. Right, let, me, let me get this out of here. So you should also be able to pick the boxes up and just load them in there. So I'm going to see if I can get these boxes out. I don't think I can get to those. I think those are just like basically stuck in there a certain way. But basically what you're supposed to be able to do as well is go up to one of these, hit B to pick it up, I believe, and just throw it in there and it should work, which that one just did. So let's see. Yep, right there and it works. Um, and that's how it's supposed to function. I guess it glitched out because of the, the angle at which I had it. I had the truck position, so... But yes, it auto loads in there from that position and it fills it up and it looks like that. Now, what I want to test out is, let me get this out of here. Is there are a few, there are a few auto load containers or pallets in the game. I wanted to see if I position one of these pallets right here by the conveyor belt, if it will work. So let's go ahead and um, let's test that out right now. Uh, let's do nope, does not work. Nope, 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 does not work. It does not work. And I'm guessing 
because this is a top loading. So I'm, I have an idea actually. Let's put that there. Let's get the last one from here. There we go. this right there let's go ahead and extend the um let us extend can i do it is it gonna allow me to maybe i have to pick these up off the conveyor belt for it to work Let's reverse this because if you stop it and then if you stop the treadmill and then do it again, it should reverse it. I guess it does not reverse it. What's happening? Uh oh. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, let's get a few of these off of there and see if I can actually get the. um the treadmill to well, the not the treadmill but the panel or the ramp right there to actually um extend There we go. You just have to hit it from a certain angle. Alrighty, so if I can place this maybe about there. Let's see if that works. Let's go over here. Hit the button. Let's see if that works. Let's see if we can auto load that pallet this way. Come on. Hopefully it doesn't like shoot out or anything. Is it even going? No. It looked like it actually did load some of them. It didn't come off, but let's see if we can. All right, I'm going to lower this again, but it looked like it actually did load a few of them. this from here and just push those up yeah so it did load it it did auto load it into it let's get those into there i guess that pallet is full no it's not All right, so we can actually load these by um, into one of those um, pallets right here in that manner. Like we can actually load it from the top and all of that stuff, which I like that. So there's one more thing I want to test on this, but I mean to have to have it get some more um, eggs produced. So let me go ahead and speed the game up and just before I do, I'm gonna show you guys something else. I actually placed one container, one of those, the trailers on the in-game chicken coop and the uh, modded chicken coop just to see if it would actually load any of the, um, the pallets in there, but I don't think it does. So let's go ahead and increase the time and you're gonna see the errors that, well, not the errors, but the messages that come up. So there you go. I think that that is because this is in the place off where the, the egg's supposed to come up and it's not detecting it as something that you can actually put the eggs in like that. And the same thing goes for the one, the in the in-game coop. So it doesn't work for the modded coop it, and it does not work for the in-game coop. 
So the reason why you see that in there is because I took one of these boxes up like this and placed it in there. So what that tells me is we can actually use this gate, use the, the truck or the trailer separate than the, um, the actual, like the, the coupe itself. So for example, if you want to do a situation where you purchase one of those and you have it for the eggs and then you want to give the impression that you're manually doing it still, like loading the truck itself instead of having it loaded direct from a conveyor belt, you could actually go ahead and, um, and pick it up by hand, pick up each box of eggs by hand and load it into the back of this, this trailer right here and it will work. Um, you can also, like I previously showed, that you can actually put one of these pallets inside the warehouse and have it load that way as well. The next thing I'm gonna test is one of these IT runners. So let me get some egg pallets, I mean some eggs back on the conveyor belt and uh, let's see if we can get that done. All right, so we have a few boxes in, not too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and operate the treadmill and I'm gonna see if I can get in a position where I can actually see what's going on. And let's see if we can actually load some eggs in here. All right, so here they come, going up the conveyor. No, it doesn't look like it will work for that. And I think that's because the the, um, the ramp doesn't go far enough for the eggs to be pushed. So let's see if I can... Oh. Yep, so the ramp, the ramp doesn't, doesn't go far enough for the eggs to be pushed. For the egg boxes to be pushed. Um, so what I am guessing is, I don't think we can actually do it with an with IT runner actually. Yeah, so it won't pick it up with the IT runner because the conveyor belt doesn't go over it, I guess. So can we, we can manually put it in there though, which, you know, it makes sense, but doesn't make sense at the same time. I'm guessing if we, if we had put this in a certain position, a different position is what I should say, it probably would work. So let me see if I can actually raise up Come on. Can I not place it back on there? I guess not. Let's see if if we do it this way. Yeah. It's not exactly, yeah, it, it's not gonna work that way. So I don't, because of how we near the space inside of the building, I don't think that it will actually be a good idea to use the IT runner. I think you could get away with using the pallets. I'm, I'm thinking you could stack a few pallets in there and it will work that way. So basically, what we tested and what we covered. Um, can you use one of these outside of the, the um, outside of the, the modern the modern barn without the conveyor belt? Will it auto load from the um, the the egg spawn points? No, it won't. However, you can pick it up, pick up one of the boxes. If I could find one, I just threw. So if you pick one of the boxes up, you take it to the back of the trailer, just 
like this, it will load it for you. But it won't auto load from where the eggs spawn. And both of those um, chicken coops I tested, the one that was in game and the one that was modded. The next thing we learned is that we cannot use an IT runner in there. Well, you probably can force the IT runner in there a certain way and it will work, but it's not convenient. However, it would be convenient to use um, one or two of these pallets and load the eggs that way from the conveyor belt. Um, the next thing we did notice is once the egg boxes get up to a certain point on this, it doesn't go any further. So, you know, that's basically it. So if you guys did like this video, it might be long drawn out, convoluted. I might be stumbling on my words. I was just trying to see if certain things will work and certain things won't work. But if you guys did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on, please go ahead and subscribe. If you want to get notified each time I post a video, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. And if you have any mods that you guys want me to review, any tips you guys have, please go ahead and leave a comment below and I will get back to each and every one of you. Um, I think that is it for this episode, guys. Thanks again for watching.